Since the beginning of spaceflight in the 1950s, several thousand man-made satellites have been sent to space. However, most of them are no longer operational. Space debris, such as uncontrolled satellites or rocket bodies, threatens operational satellites and manned spaceflight. In 2009, the first accidental collision between two satellites occurred. This incident created more than 100,000 debris objects in orbit. The idea of an on-orbit servicing is to approach and capture a non-operational or damaged target satellite with a service satellite. The service satellite either repairs the target satellite or removes it from orbit. Such a mission is extremely difficult and challenging. Within the research project On-Orbit Servicing End-to-End -end Simulation, the German Aerospace Center DLR, demonstrates and simulates on ground the final approach and the capturing of an uncontrolled target satellite. It includes the ground segment needed for such a mission, the simulation of the communication path and the simulation of the space segment. For approaching the uncontrolled target satellite with a service satellite, a camera is used as navigation sensor. During the so-called rendezvous phase, the target is tracked continuously in the camera images, and the relative position and orientation are computed autonomously on board the service satellite. All involved rendezvous systems are tested and demonstrated at the EPOS facility, the European Proximity Operations Simulator which is a hardware-in-the-loop testbed based on two robots simulating the service and the target satellite. DLR has also established a ground segment, no different from one for a real on-orbit servicing mission. Here we see the operating team in a control room at the German Space Operations Center in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany. The engineers are monitoring their subsystems and are sending telecommands to the service satellite during simulated passages when the spacecraft comes above the ground station's horizon. At the same time, the team at the EPOS facility monitors the motion of the robots and the status of the entire facility during the simulation. Now the service satellite has reached the final hold point, the so-called mating point, very close to the target. The orbital trajectories of the satellites are computed by software simulation and are forwarded to the robotic motion simulators. The consideration of environmental disturbances, like the solar radiation pressure, makes the trajectories very precise. Simulated attitude and orbit control systems, as well as the implemented onboard telecommunication system, provide realistic accessibility to the satellites from the control center on ground. Now the target satellite is captured with a robotic arm mounted on the service satellite. This can be done autonomously on board based on a stereo camera or alternatively via telepresence. An operator in the control room moves a robotic arm mounted next to his console. The robotic arm for capture at the service satellite in space moves accordingly as guided by the teleoperator. At the mating point, a handover takes place between the EPOS facility and a second robotic DLR simulation facility, called On-Orbit Servicing Simulator. The space segment during the capturing process is simulated from here. The robotic arm reaches its final position and grasps the target satellite. After having captured the target, a deorbit or repair maneuver can take place. Here, a retreat maneuver after a successful service task is simulated at the EPOS facility. The service satellite can now proceed with servicing the next client satellite. <laughs>